Hello, I'm Dan Marshall from ChartedBoatVideo.com. We help charter boat companies improve their customer satisfaction, safety, and efficiency by providing four types of video. The four are chart briefings, boat system briefings, emergency procedure briefings, and marketing videos. What you're about to see is an example of a boat system briefing. This is just a sample. It shows only the sail handling system and the instruments. The other systems, such as the engine, the anchor setup, navigation, electrical, refrigeration, fresh water, etc., are all covered in the full version. Pegasus is a sloop rigged boat uh, with roly furling jib. Best bet is raising the mainsail first. Main halyard is on port side. All lines are led to the cockpit. Pull the sail up by hand after you get it 90 to 95 percent of the way up. Take your wraps to fill the winch. Self tailing winch is on board. Your last turn goes around the tailor. Loosen up your main sheet and crank it up the rest of the way. Main sheet starboard side, finish off with the winch. Uh, the gooseneck is fixed and doesn't go up. And uh, after you finish raising the main, tighten the sheet. Uh, traveler is fully functional. You can ease out your mainsail with the traveler and the main sheet. Rolling out the jib. Furling line is port side. Flip your rope clutch. Typically coming out of Monterey Harbor, you're going to be unfurling, uh, sailing on a port tack using the starboard jib sheet to unfurl. Let the furling line pay through your hand as you unfurl. If it unrolls at very high speed without any restriction, the head of the sail wants to tear as it snaps open and comes to a quick stop. If you control the rate at which the, the sail unfurls with a little, just a little bit of tension on the furling line, the head of the sail won't tear. Um, with full sails, after 12 knots of wind or, or 14 knots of wind, the boat becomes overpowered and the weather helm gets to be very heavy. At 12 to 13 knots is about the time for the first reef on the main. Um, you can motor into the wind to left the mainsail or you can ease the main sheet uh, to left the mainsail while you're sailing on the jib. Put about five feet of slack into your main halyard. Uh, attach the D-ring along the luff of the sail or the forward edge to the hook at the base of the at the forward end of the boom and pull the aft reef line green and white line starboard side and tie reef points in the center of the sail underneath the boom uh, put tension on the main halyard but uh, you want all the load of the reef to be handled by the forward reef point and the aft reef line uh, watch for puckering or tension on the reef points in the center of the sail so that the sail doesn't tear at the reef points. The second reef is about 20 to 23 knots of wind and uh, same procedure, another five to six feet of uh, slack in your main halyard. Attach the D-ring on the port side to the, to the uh, hook at the forward end of the boom pull your second reef line which is port side to tension the aft reef and uh, tie reef points underneath the boom raise your main halyard watch the tension on the reef points to make sure that uh, they're not taking up load after after your first reef on the mainsail you're probably going to want to furl 10 to 15 percent of the jib release the jib sheet you can keep one loose turn around the winch for uh, a little bit of control. Pull in on the furling line port side until you've reduced the amount of jib exposed. Close your rope clutch on the furling line and put tension on your jib sheet. 
to fill the sail. Putting your sails down or furling your jib, you can do while under sail. Uh, typically, you're going to furl your jib first and reduce, uh, release the jib sheet. Haul in on the furling line until the jib sheets reach the uh, furled sail. And uh, easier to drop the main while under engine. Uh, turn your engine on first, motor into the wind. Alternate which side the mainsail falls between each sail slide. And uh, there's a lazy jack system uh, which will keep just about all the mainsail on the boom with about one sail tie along, along the back one third of the sail. After the control arms on the tiller, hit auto to begin self steering. Plus 10 is a 10 degree starboard turn. Plus 1 is fine tune starboard turn. Minus 10 is a 10 degree port turn. Minus 1 5 times is a 5 degree port turn. Talk about instruments and the auto helm. Okay. Um, Pegasus has an auto helm self steering and uh, speed, depth, and wind speed and direction, uh, electronics, uh, dual compasses either side of the uh, boat. Auto helm is easy to engage. Set the auto helm in the uh, pedestal. Plug in the 12 volt plug. And controls are with the instrument cluster above the companionway. As soon as you put the control arm on the tiller, you want to hit, hit auto, auto to begin self steering. To begin self steering, plus 10 is a 10 degree starboard turn. And uh, starboard turn plus 1 is plus 10, 10 starboard turn. For a 10 degree starboard turn, minus 10 is a minus 10, 10 for turn. a 10 degree port minus turn. One, and times. plus 1 or minus oh, 1 for fine tuning port, port turn. or starboard your course. Come off of self steering, hit standby, lift the control arm off, and resume hand steering. Auto helm steering and and hand steering are mutually exclusive events and will uh, lead to a broken auto helm. Either auto steer or hand steer, but not both at the same time. Uh, auto turns self steering on when it's on the control arm. Stand by and lift the control arm off the tiller to resume hand steering. Hi, this is Dan Marshall from charterboatvideo.com again. Imagine how great it would be if your customers could view a fully detailed briefing like this before they arrive at your docks and then take a DVD copy along on their trip, which they could then use to refresh themselves when questions come up. Please see our website, charterboatvideo.com, for more details. I look forward to working with you.